you aren't caught up yet, Sony just officially announced a VR headset they've been working on for a while called Project Morpheus. Naturally, this immediately sparked an internet pissing contest about which is better, Sony's solutions or the Oculus Rift. Besides the fact that they are both prototypes and will change a lot before release, most of the people arguing from either side haven't even touched either of the most recent versions of the devices and therefore aren't really in a position to judge. Nonetheless, we wanted to take a look at the differences between the two devices from a specs and features perspective to get a sense of how the two compare. To be honest, there are a lot more similarities than differences in the two products, so let's take a look at that first. The newest Oculus Rift and Sony's Project Morpheus both have a 1920x1080 display, giving you 960x1080 pixels for each eye. Both have a series of accelerometers, a 3-axis gyroscope, and rely on an external camera to do positional tracking. Both of them also have motion sensors that update 1,000 times per second. So that's where they're similar, and here's where they're different. The Rift has an OLED panel as opposed to the Morpheus's LCD. The Rift has a 110 degree diagonal field of view versus the Morpheus's 90. And one place where we're fairly sure that Rift is winning is with a technology they're using called low persistence display. This allows the screen to shut off for tiny fractions of a second between new images and has been reported to dramatically reduce motion blur, judder, and motion sickness in users. Where Sony seems to have a major advantage with their prototype is on the audio front. They reportedly are using a technology that models the human ear to do true spatial sound, which might make a huge difference for audio realism. The Rift doesn't come with any audio tech in the device itself, so you still have to wear headphones and rely on whatever sound the game itself normally delivers. And those are the main places where the two solutions differ. At the end of the day, we're happy to see competition and innovation in the VR space. Consumers will be the one that benefit in the end, so we're happy to see more players in the market. When these devices are finally released, whenever that is, there probably won't be a ton of direct competition anyway. Project Morpheus is going to be a PS4 peripheral, and only PC users will gain access to the Rift. This could change down the line, but when they first launch, that's what we're going to be dealing with.